About a year ago, I started getting supremely frustrated by the ways in which um, political leaders like Philip Hammond and others would talk about an economy that's working well, uh, to talk about, they'd talk about a way in which the employment was going up and which apparently inequality was falling. Um, and it really frustrated me because it was so different to what I could see on the ground and what I was hearing from the unions that support us, from my friends that are teachers or youth psychologists or nurses that were saying their workplaces are increasingly stressful, uh, that they felt overburdened at work and they found it hard to deal with that and they didn't expect a pay rise, they hadn't had a pay rise for a while and they weren't expecting one. Um, so this report was really about reorientating us to workers' voices themselves and understanding the realities, the truth of what's happening in our economy and who it's working for. Um, and so it, it, it is filled with these case studies and stories of what it's like to be working in today's labour market. But it also helps us to move away from measures like looking purely at business confidence or consumer confidence to look at workers' confidence, to remind us that the economy should be working for 31 million workers uh, and not just for businesses. So it helpfully injects this sense of um, measurement, so three and four workers that, that we uh, surveyed said that the economy is not working for us and that on its own is a sign that the economy isn't working and that is exactly the message we need to hear right now to reflect the realities of people's lives. So have a look at the report and please do use it um, and we'll be doing them every year from now on.